Hello, everyone. Sorry, we had some technical difficulty, but it's all good now. And we're all here. Look, it's a reunion. Hello. We're with the cast Hi. and the director of Feeling Butterflies. So not that anybody needs any introductions, but how about you introduce yourself? Say hi. We'll start at the top. Hey, hi, I'm Marita Grabiak, and uh, I'm talking to everybody from Los Angeles, and uh, this is the cast of uh, Feeling Butterflies. <laughs> Next. Oh, that's a point to me. Hi, I'm Randy Thomas. Uh, it's awesome to be here with you. I'm downtown Toronto right now, and uh, I play Larry, the father of the wonderful Kayla. You're up. You're up. Hi, I'm Kevin McGarry. Um, I'm in the movie as well. I'm with the star right here. <laughs> She's allowing me to like be in her bubble right now. So. Yeah, okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Kayla Wallace. I play Emily in Feeling Butterflies. I can't believe this day has come. And I can't wait for everyone to the see day, it. The day of reckoning has, day has, come. has arrived. Yes. So proud. So excited. <laughs> I'm Amanda Jordan. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee right now, and I play Rebecca O'Keefe in Feeling Butterflies. This is my first, um, this is going to be my first time seeing myself act on TV, I, uh, and it's my first Walmart movie, so I'm so excited to um, see it. All right. Hi, my name is Alyssa Gervasi, and I play Amanda in Feeling Butterflies, and I'm very happy to be here. Last but not least, <laughs> um, my name is Catherine, and I'm very excited to be here too. I'm coming to you from downtown Toronto, just like Randy, and I'm playing your colorful, big personality, Mandy. <laughs> All right, so everybody's made their introductions. I'm from New Jersey in the in the states. I never said where I was, but I think most people know. So we're all here. Um, I've had the opportunity to chat with the girls, but not the boys. I haven't had a chance to talk with Randy or Kevin. So hi, I'm Roxanne. Hi. I'm glad you popped in and are joining us. Um, I didn't know if Randy or um, Kevin, you wanted to share something because all the girls had a chance to share, but did you want to share something about the movie that you're excited for us to see or, or just something in general? Like we can start with you, Randy. Randy, yeah, you go first. Uh, something people don't wouldn't know about me is that I don't sure, have anything. Still, I don't have children yet, and my wonderful fiance and I are definitely looking at that. And for me to have the opportunity to play a father, I've oh. only had that in a couple of movies, and they were both recently actually. And uh, when I was working with Kayla, it was very uh, much more emotional for me than I thought it would be because it allowed me to live what I think. And the fact that Kayla could easily <laughs> be my daughter. Uh, and if you saw my fiance, you would say that, yeah, she could actually be <laughs> our daughter. So for me, it was very emotional just to be able to work with her and just, just play scenes and play pretend dad uh, to uh, a young lady that would absolutely be a wonderful, wonderful daughter. So, so for me, it was nice. Everyone follow, says that. Everyone. So, oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. Everyone says that about you, Kayla. Everybody that talks about you or if I'm talking about you or they interview you, they always say how sweet you are. Aw, that's very it nice. It must be oh, true. Really. Is it true, Kevin? Is she sweet? <laughs> yes. You can't see the gun that's being held to me. No, no, yes, of course she is. I'm sweet after I've had my coffee. That's yes. Okay, that's that's all right. Every human needs that. We know that. We got it. What about you, Kevin? Because we haven't had a, or I haven't had a chance to talk to you about the movie. Is there something special other than your co-stars? <laughs> or is there something that stands out that you wanted to share or say? Something sentimental like Randy shared? Well, I, I don't know what people said before me, so I don't want to don't want to repeat anything. Okay. Um, I think what's special, I think that Maria, this is our third movie. Third um, movie? yeah, thanks, Kevin. It's actually our fourth. Oh, <laughs> the first one, uh, you know, the first one felt like a dream. I, I know so I'm, I'm very I forgettable, know. but <laughs> Ice Hotel, Ice Hotel, which we did, um, it came out as Winter Castle in 2018, Scavenger Hunt, which was in the spring of 2019, uh, Random Acts of Christmas in Vancouver, um, which I think might have been that same year, and then Feeling Butterflies. 
Oh, our fourth great. movie. So that's very special to me. I think that's great. That's a special thing, I think. And then and yes. to, to go to like favorite part of the film, I really, um, I think, and this is a first to the butterfly off that we see at the beginning to kind of, you know, really articulate these two characters' rivalries uh, in the boxes here. Um, I think it's, it's the first time it's ever been done in cinematic history to see a butterfly off. So that's a cool part. It made me laugh. Now, Marita, did you have to like enhance? Yeah, I mean, sure, there were butterflies there, but did you have to enhance it? Did you have to add, like, do a little, you know? Oh my God. Um, yeah, that's um, th uh, that's uh, sort of the the technical which I, I'd like to address. But um, uh, let's let's talk to um, let's actually talk about how the movie came together, um, and then sort of that that sort of will follow logically. Um, so, uh, you know, I work for Tim Johnson, who's, who we make movies together and, um, uh, this script is written by a very wonderful writer. Who's my partner sort of, uh, in crime for at least 10 years. Um, I say partner, but literally she writes them and we, we collaborate. Um, so when I read the script, like a very captivating title, feeling, feeling butterflies, uh, I, I immediately thought of, of Kevin. And I, I actually didn't know Kayla. There's there's a lot of repeat business here between like uh, Randy. We've done like three movies, Randy and Catherine. Are we we're at least three in, right? Scavenger. Oh, we're four now. Oh, we're four now. Oh, <laughs> so so actually. <laughs> <That's so crazy. laughs> I'll catch up. I'll catch up. After, after feeling butterflies, we did a movie, a Western. Um, so so I was looking. I, I have sort of I, I'm very loyal to my actors. Uh, especially if I, I like working with them and uh, I always try to to keep my eye out. So as soon as I read the script, I thought of Kevin. I texted him. He said he was available. Um, I went to some of my repeat business, like, you know, number one females, and they were busy doing other things. And I said to Kevin, D is there anyone you can recommend? And he said, Kayla. And he said, well, and, and I said, you know, is she good? And he said, well, I think so. <laughs> it was really enough for me. My my trust with Kevin is so, you know, so uh, entirely there. So I, I, I pitched it to, to Tim Johnson and he just said, yeah. And I just thought it would be a great thing since they're a couple in real life. I thought, man, what a, what a great thing. It's going to create a great chemistry. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I pretty much, uh, once you do a casting of, of people, uh, there's there's a part of like a pre-concept idea in a way for a director. It's like vision is a very dangerous thing, but, you know, inevitably you have sort of a vision. Um, and then Kayla was a little bit different and, and then it, it became something very beautiful because she's so sweet. Um, and, and so intelligent in, in her performance or to work with um, that she really became the character. So now Kayla's in my entourage. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just truly. Uh, so so Catherine is another person who, who I first met and just fell in love with, like Randy. And Amanda is my new discovery as uh, Alyssa. When Alyssa auditioned, she was up against 30, 30 youngsters and there was only one person. Plus the fact that she... You know, she fairly genetically resembled Kevin. I thought, you know, she's his, his daughter and they come together. Um, and then uh, Catherine gave me inspiration in her audition, as did Amanda. Um, so so it's like I'm very open to what I see. And she had on a particular outfit and, and she had a butterfly on and it was very, it was satin outfit and it was bright like neon blue and i was like oh my god it's it's like let's do an andy warhol thing and she she's like she love 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 loves butterflies so much and let's make kayla's character like french like provence and and she understands the science of, of butterflies so we kind of morphed and fight you know made very finite the story to create this uh dichotomy between these two women who both love butterflies but in an incredibly different way so uh, you know Catherine's audition really informed that and um kayla's personality really informed that as well so i i said they they both have to be at odds and what what kevin is referring to when a, uh, there's like a butterfly off it's like it's it's very funny and it opens the movie you know, uh, Kayla's character goes scurrying around and she's she's late and we establish her expertise, but then she has this competitor. So it's like this relationship between these two women and they're totally different. One is, you know, 
uh, I'm going to butcher the word, lepidopterous. Kayla, help me <laughs> out. What's the you word? know, I I was trying to remember it, and then I was second guessing myself. Catherine, I, Catherine knows how to say it. She said it several oh, times. Okay, what is it? Come on, Catherine. I'm putting you on the spot now. I would never say it. lepidopterous. <laughs> it's uh, right. lepidopterosis. Or there's yeah. there's another way. There's two ways to say it. Lepidopterologist, and one is lept lepidopterist. So it's like a shorter. Yeah, yeah. the same word. When, when, when we created Kayla's work environment or her, she has a habitat, but she also has a workspace. And I said, let's make that workspace very, uh, you know, friendly and comfortable with tea set up. But but it's she has, you know, um, microscopes and, and testing things and pictures of butterflies where you go into Catherine's space and it's like Andy Warhol ish stuff. So we, we uh, like when you watch this movie, pay attention to like the set dressing and the art of their individual spaces, which really kind of reflect the personalities. Um, and we we just made Catherine like a, a retro 80s disco person. And she's like, I don't know anything about butterflies, but we bring the women together. There, there's a pivot point in the movie where they come together and the way that that unfolds um, is very beautiful. And, and you know, we, we do a lot of manipulation of the story to kind of make it real and relatable. Um, and, and that's why it's so fun to work with with uh, Kevin who, who, and Randy and Catherine, who I have a history with. And, and it's like uh, we have a lot of autonomy because we, we, we make these movies and then they're sold to, to Hallmark. Um, you know, no disrespect in any way. But, I you know, um, a lot of times what people say, and I've done about 20 of these, is your movies are surprisingly dramatic for a Hallmark, you know, product. Um, and, and we want to really give the actor something to hold on to in terms of like logic and, uh, you know, and, and also fun and, and just, you know, make it really relatable. Um, and like I said, Aly Alyssa was, she was just a gem every day. She had such a huge page count, like a lot of kids her age. Um, and how old are you now, Alyssa? I'm 10 I'm turning 10. 11 on May 30th. Okay. Yeah. We're, wow. yeah. You're very tall, but uh, you, you might think that you're older, but um, yeah, she's, she's numerically very young. And oh, uh, Amanda's performance in her audition, you know, it, there was something about it that reminded me of Paris Hilton. And uh, we, we kind of took advantage of some of the things that are in Ottawa in terms of like, uh, she was supposed to have, a, she's supposed to be planning a wedding. And I said, let's do it at the Royal Golf Club and let's say her parents like owned it. And so there's a, there's a lot of like incredible creativity that you can just take off and do. Uh, and and uh, so there's, there's a, a fun sequence with the three girls. Um, it's a lot of eye candy, but it's beautiful and funny. And Amanda just completely brought it in terms of the comedy. And she's, she's new, but she's very like open. And um, it was just a pleasure to work with this entire cast. So I'm really excited about the movie premiere today. Thank you, Marita. You gave all kinds of tidbits that no one else could give. So everybody was messaging me, where is it from? And I'm like, it's Amazon. I asked her and she said, Amazon. So now we can all get our hands on some of it if we want it to. Did anybody, I think some of you, did anybody take some things home? I think some of you did. Yeah. Shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kayla has a shirt on. I think Alyssa, you had some outfits, right? And Sarah, yes, Sarah I'm just was saying that. Right now. No, that's okay. Pause. She was saying you have what? Oh, she's going to grab something. Yeah, grab something. Um, the whole Amazon thing. Um, I mean, um, uh, Sarah Carroll. Uh, I work with this group um, in Ottawa. The the production company is called Fireside Pictures, and Sarah I, and I have worked together for almost four years. She's brilliant, and uh, I can communicate like a feeling to her, and she'll go shopping. But think about it. It's COVID. Yeah. All those shops were closed. Nordstrom's, yeah. Macy's, and the places that Sarah would normally go hit up to, to shop were closed. Um, so I said, you know, um, I, I give her that uh, we sit down and we talk about the tone of each character. And I said, if we can, if we can keep Catherine very disco, but if you can get motifs of butterflies and the stuff that she showed me, you know, I had I had a riches of choices, and it was. It was really fun because they were. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those are so fun. The nice. <laughs> and when, when yeah, the, these when are the butterflies in the audition. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. It's so sweet. Yeah. 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 
Okay, with the wardrobe. Like when she got this one butterfly dress, then she bought three dimensional, she got three dimensional party butterflies and she stuck them all over the costume. So it ended up being like an Alexander McQueen kind of <laughs> combobulation. And she got these stack high heels for Catherine. There's a scene where where Kayla leads Kayla and, and Kevin lead a group of um, kids because they really they're desperate because they have this big order to fulfill for Amanda's character. So they go out into the field trying to get larva. And Catherine's character is wearing those glasses and just like hobbling down within a miniskirt, like, <laughs> like across grass. And, really quickly and I put a camera way down. I laughed so hard when I saw that. I put a camera way down on the ground and I said, walk right towards the lens. It was just it was so, so much fun. Oh, you know I what? I it. actually remember that I couldn't keep, a, I couldn't stop laughing when we were filming that scene. And I remember we got a couple of takes and it was so much to reset it, but it was so hard to keep it serious because it kept picking me up. I just couldn't see the straight face. Was it. I was going to ask that. I was wondering who out of all of you, like if you wanted to tell on each other, including Marita, who has like the giggles? You know what I mean? Like it's hard to do a scene because you get the giggles and then you can't stop. So there you go. That would be you, Catherine, right? Who, yeah. who does? Yeah, who, I'm one of them. Does, one. I was wondering, like, who's like causes chaos behind the scenes and between takes and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. Ke Ke Kevin's <laughs> Kevin does. He's, show, I'm, he's I'm really the, the funny. Perfect so, professional. Yeah. That's another reason why it's so much fun. And 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 uh, I mean that they there was a lot of laughing at all times. But um, Kevin's got a real sharp sense of humor. So. And, and and what what about like you said there were long hours of filming so who gets like hangry like you know when you're hungry and then you get miserable like who's like that anyone anyone have that temperament or no you're like that in life I think I'm like that in life yeah. <laughs> that leads right into your real life and, yeah. wait a minute there goes that sweetness with that That's just right just first that bubble and caffeinated and then I'm good. Well, I, 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 if I, if I might pipe up here, I, I think um, we all we're all working long hours. Mm -hmm. A lot of like the crew and Marita work longer sure. hours than we do, and I think a lot of us is cast. She invites us back because we all work so hard to be very easy to get along with. We don't want to cause too many stresses, and because we know that there are, you know, we're very like every day on set's a great day. There's some days that are tougher than others, but in the end of the day, for me anyway, I feel very blessed to be on set any day that I'm there. And I try to always lighten the mood and just go along with it. And, you know, Marita's got so much on her mind and she, what I love about her is that she'll, she'll allow us to play. And sometimes <laughs> she loves my ideas and my suggestions. And other times she just gives me that look, no. And she just keeps on going like, walk, no, Randy. And she's still going. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always we're always having fun and and again Rita leads the charge with that and uh she's very focused but she allows us to play and I think that's what comes out on screen and that's why I love working with her. that's what makes it fun for us as viewers too because we get to yeah. see that come through so that's nice and you do like it is like a little reunion I mean everybody the only person I was thinking that did not really have a connection I was thinking maybe might be you Amanda right and um, Alyssa, the two of you, because uh, Catherine and, and Kevin worked together before, and Randy and Kayla, of course, you know Kevin. And then I was thinking you two were coming in. And then when I was asking you those questions, both of them said that it felt like it was a family, like they loved it. They felt welcomed and felt like part of the group. But I was wondering, because because you know each other so well, when you have to like pretend you don't, right? You have to act like you don't, that could be just as hard, right? And and when you're trying to, like sometimes when there's, you have to pretend you're best friends or you have to act like you're best. I keep saying pretend. I agree. Right. I want to know about that. Cause that uh, <laughs> talk to us about that. That's a challenge. I'm, what? How does, What's that, how does that work for you too? Pardon me? What, for Kayla and for, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, That's I'm a very good question. Question. I've yeah. wanted to talk about this. Because What's the question then. Okay. So the two of you know each other so well, and now you have to come on screen and pre pretend you have to act, be authentic, and rebuild a relationship. Is that like just as difficult, right? Worrying about if you have chemistry or not. We know you do because you do in real life, but you have to like imagine that you don't know each other. So that I'm we're wondering that's a challenge, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, yeah. Okay. Go okay. ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. You just, <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I think the the moments where we were already at that place and we we were filming the scenes that they had that connection and they had that chemistry between them, those feel a little more natural. And then when we have to film the scenes that are more towards the beginning of the movie, yeah, it's it's you're just you're finding something new in the moment in you know the other person that you you have to step into a different place. And that's the fun out of all of this working with somebody that you already know. It's an added challenge which I have to say, I have to say that, um, you know, um, going with, going with Kevin's suggestion, like, and um, like it, the light bulb went off in my head, wow, this can be solid gold. Nothing can beat real intimacy and real chemistry. And that's what you strive for. Um, I've literally been in situations where, you know, the male and female that are supposed to, you know, kiss and have those near, near miss moments, because that's part of the formula of this genre, um, they don't, they don't like each other. And that, that has happened to me a couple of times. It's just awful. And, uh, it's awful to navigate. And, and these guys, you know, there's, there's a wonderful scene where they take off and they play like kids and they get into a mud fight, you know, mm -hmm. slash. And it's just, it's not only was our environment that was, you know, set for them a beautiful blue sky puppy cloud day, but, you know, the chemistry that they had, you know, they fall to, to the ground and they look into each other's eyes and all that stuff is so real and so palpable. And it's this is a very special, beautiful movie for the fact that, you know, these guys are a couple mm -hmm. and um, it, I can't speak enough. It's it's a very it's a very special movie for that. Yeah. yeah. To, to answer your question, it's it's not hard to fall in love with Kayla again and again. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Aren't you a good guy there? <laughs> now, talk about the mud scene. I know that um, it's been talked about on um, some other podcasts, and we've um, been able to see it, so it's not like we're giving anything away. It looked like it was fun. I have to tell you, Kayla, they they have like your voice, like your laughter in the background when they're putting, you know, you see it on TV and it's like infectious. You have this beautiful laugh and I'm looking and it looks so joyful. But I heard that you were in a cornfield and I come from a farming town and a cornfield's not a nice place to be when you're rolling in it. It so looked, it looked <laughs> beautiful. And then when you're rolling around in the grass, it would get a little pokey let's say oh, that. i that was, was it, that was a lot of acting we did that day smiling and there, the... i remember one one time there was a a spy a daddy long, daddy daddy long, long leg. leg i know mm -hmm. people call them different things and it was right by my head because we were we did that shot marita when they were almost like <laughs> bird's eye view when we were lying on the on the grass and we had a blanket so we were comfortable and there was like this big thing crawling next to my face <laughs> You had to just smile. I didn't, smile. I, didn't, yeah. I didn't tell you about the snakes, though. I think you did, you did after. You did after we shot it. I think you're like, oh, there's snakes out here. Too. Wait, <laughs> we were told about the snakes, but we were told to not tell you because you were afraid of snakes. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I have a super phobia of snakes. That's true. There was one one day, yeah, when we were walking on the side of the habitat. And I was like, ah! <laughs> but it did yeah i mean and that that's that seems because they keep showing it um yes. and stuff. i mean the sky kind of goes on forever it blew yeah. it into the grass yeah. and then on top of that it was kind of like a guerrilla style shooting where we just kind of went for it and you know the beast yeah. kind of followed us and it was it it doesn't kind of it, it looks great because it doesn't follow like a, a format in any way and it just kind of looks right. kind of authentic and real. yeah like i remember marita the points that you wanted to hit and we, we yeah stuck. mud here mud yeah. here no. <laughs> <laughs> the the parts of the script that we wanted to hit but you did give us so much freedom in that just with the way we shot it with the the handheld camera and that was that was the fun of that scene i think for the yeah we were um yeah. Our yeah. Camera guy was literally chasing you guys across the field there, yeah. there's this spectacular like david lean super extreme wide shot and then we kind of went closer and closer with the wardrobe and everything we really could only do it one time 
Um, and so it's it's filmed live, almost like it's almost like a documentary style. And it just it just it was so much fun. It was so beautiful. I was so concerned about it because I wanted to have enough mud. You know, so I kept saying, get me more bags of dirt, get me more bags of dirt, water, dirt, water, dirt. And it was like, like, we're, we're kind of a low budget outfit. And I'm like, oh, that's not enough mud, but they made it work. The mud budget, the mud budget. Yeah, was right. And your clothes were trash. They had to like those. That was it. I was asking Sarah that I'm like, there was no saving those clothes. Right. She's like, oh, no. Oh, like, gosh, no. no, no, they were done. Oh, my goodness. Amanda, um. Do we actually get to see a wedding? Do we really get to see it happen or are we not allowed to say? I don't know if I'm allowed to say, um, <laughs> Marita, but I don't know. I mean, just. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a, I, don't, I mean, that's not how the movie ends, but I, I mean, oh, no, um, I there, is, there is a wedding. There is a wedding in, I mean, the whole format of the show is we're preparing um, the two women are competing <clears throat> to do the butterfly providing the, for the event, which is the Amanda's wedding. So, yeah, there's a crescendo at the end, and that's it, it takes place at her wedding, which I filmed at the Ottawa Royal Golf Club, which is a really special place. And and it rained cats and dogs that day. Yeah. And, um, you know, we filmed this uh, three weeks last June, last May. And, um, you know. Uh, the one day that I really, really, really needed no rain was the day we had rain. We we had oh when we God. did we were uh, we got there at six thirty in the morning and we had a tarp. You know the actors are working by a twenty by twenty uh, umbrella translucent thing, and the rain is just pouring behind Kayla's clothes, <laughs> which we had to do like a CGI removal of. But um, the, these guys, you know, it's why I'm behind the camera. It's far more comfortable. Um, th these guys are in summer dresses um, in in a very cold day in rain, and then eventually in the afternoon the sun came out. And is there, it's, we we shot a, a three or four scenes there. And there's a really funny scene with Amanda there with her uh, when when Catherine and Kayla show up to, to meet this woman, this Paris Hilton type person. They look at her and she's with her boyfriend and she's having a a hissy fit, and then she <laughs> just turns and yeah, she's like. Oh hi! There's there's a lot of comedy in this. I I just yes, there is a wedding. <laughs> All right. Really so Amanda, yeah. you you're kind of like a spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not too far off from my actual personality. So it's pretty. No. Cool. No. Oh my goodness. No. Um, this is so sweet. What are you talking about? No. Don't um, say that. <laughs> that scene was so fun to shoot, and I I love that Marita like. I, I just remember looking over and she was like, and now kiss. And everything was just so just like on the spot. And so I feel like it, it, kind of, it was just kind of real. Yeah. I, I, I said, um, I, I said, I want you to verbally abuse your boyfriend. We were just shooting POV of her, like from Kay Kayla and Catherine's point of view. And I'm like, I, I have her dressed up like this Barbie doll who goes golfing. So it's like she's in this mini hot pink golfing skirt and she's like, give me the nine iron. Give me the, give me the, no, not that one. And then, and then I'm telling him uh, bend over, but um, spill the golf balls on the floor. And, and we're just like riffing. And then that's the fun of it. Like, you know, there's no eyes on me. I get to kind of do what I want. And I just told her stomp your feet. And uh, <laughs> brilliant. she did brilliantly. And she, I was like verbally abuse him. Okay. Now, wave to the girls and kiss them and like whatever i said she was just like she's was down awesome. for it. It was really great now amanda i'm just sitting here i'm listening to this so it's your first hallmark movie correct yes and you get to be a brat you get a wedding and you kiss yes. <laughs> that's quite a bit yeah all the little hallmarky things i'm nervous yeah, to watch because i've never seen myself act before so i feel like i'm gonna be like this the whole are you time. All, are you all gonna live tweet Yes, no? Yes. Yes. As much as I usually do, yes. Yes. And um, Suspenders on Button, they have their own little thing going on on um, uh, Instagram. So they'll be doing things like in between commercials and they're encouraging all of us to live tweet. I think it's to use the hashtag Feeling Butterflies and also the McGarry's. And I think um, it's also Spring Into Love. I think that's what Hallmark uses, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So um, you have a lot of people that are going to be live tweeting. Um, I have a question for you, Alyssa, before I have something for you, Marita, because I wanted to talk about the location for a minute. 
Alyssa, you have a birthday party, right? It, that's one of the scenes. This is, is this how you get yeah. to meet? Okay, Kayla's, okay, I was wondering. And I heard that there's some kind of cute costumes going on in that scene. Is there something cute that you, you're wearing? Something special we should look out for? Yes, I if think you remember? I'm pretty sure I was wearing a butterfly cape in that scene. Okay, so you got some yeah, cute stuff. Yeah, butterfly right. cape. All right, we're going to be looking yeah. out for it. So was I. I think I was you wearing a butterfly too? cape. Aww, that's being no, a good I'm, I'm, I'm sad, I wasn't wearing a <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa did such a good job. She is, in fact, um, the, the, the motif of her party is is butterflies. So she was wearing a cape, and there's um, her, her party members are wearing capes that, um, that Sarah found. And... Um, then she gets taken on as an apprentice in the story to Kayla's character and she's learning. And this is, this is a way that brings, um, you know, the, the two families together. And uh, Alyssa be, became an expert in various scenes with skipping and hopping and butterfly net. So there's a lot of like beautiful stuff that she did and she just had boundless energy. And she, I just have to say what a pleasure she was to work with. And I, I look forward to working with her again. She just had, um, she's always prepared and had so much energy and she's effervescent and, um, just, um, my good fortune, of course. Oh, I know this is why it, this is going to be such a good movie. I'm excited. I'm going out to dinner. And then I said, I have to be home. They're like, why? And I said, I have to watch a movie. And they're like, record it. <laughs> I, am, but I have to watch it live. I have to tweet. I have to experience it live. Um, so Marita, where was all of this filmed? Was it in Ottawa? Um, this is Ottawa. So um, it, it, to our American audience members, a lot of them will say, um, where's Ottawa? Um, it, so if you go to the eastern United States and go up north, uh, it, it's 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 north and east of, of Toronto. So it's it's a long flight to get there, but it's worth it. In 2018, I, I started filming there. And my boss said, and I had a 20 year history with filming in Vancouver. And he said, um, I have this ice hotel movie I, I'd like you to do, but I, I'm sorry, it's in Ottawa. And, and I, I was like, uh, oh, my God, I love the snow. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, in a small town there. I would just love that. And um, I, I, it's a second home to me. And, you know, I, I have a partner there. And um, I'm, I'm in love. And, you know, I, hey. I, I, I basically draw from my own life so much with my trials and tribulations. And um, so, I, you know, I really add. But I'm very happy. And... Um, I'm, I'm with a guy uh, named Tim Higgins. You can look him up. He's a former NHL hockey person, and and he introduced me to the city of Ottawa in a new and fresh and beautiful way. And it's just, it's like Pittsburgh in a way. It reminds me of um, really good people, and um, uh, the architecture is the same. So I'm very, very comfortable there with the snow and all the things it has to offer. It's For me, filming there, it's a... Uh, somewhat of a virgin location because you have you have vancouver and toronto so there's a huge film community there and uh so that makes people jaded when you go to businesses or homes um but ottawa is very um user friendly and very welcoming and the people are curious uh so that's why i i consider it a, a great place uh to to work and to live and i i, I feel like um it, it's a, just a wonderful pond to live in. And I, I hope to like actually make my home there. So oh. I'll, I'll transition there eventually, but uh, working all that out right now, but um, it, as a filming location with the beautiful uh, snow in the winter and the, the, well, you'll, you'll see in this movie, this'll, this'll prove it. Okay. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. I in, highly endorse it. Uh, yes, that was quite of endorse, an endorsement. Good job. <laughs> um, we will, I, I'm looking, there's questions. I see your comments. We can see them all. All of us can see them. And we'll uh, address some of them at the end. And then if people will indulge me, I do have butterfly glasses like yours, Catherine, for uh, a giveaway. If they can, if you can answer the questions correctly and whoever answers them correctly, I'll keep track and I will send them out. And I also have butterfly, a couple other things and something with mud. 
<laughs> so um, <laughs> just a that. handful of mud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little bit more exciting than a handful of mud. Um, I think that if I said it was mud, Kevin, that they scraped off of your face or something and we put it in a vial, I could auction that. <laughs> I off. Think we're yeah. You get, you get a lot of cash for that. <laughs> hey, if you want, uh, I'll, Kevin, I'll put it on your face so that, okay. yeah. you know, I mean, professionally, it, you know, yeah, it's my oh, pleasure goodness. to help. Now, Marita, did you want to show some pictures? And I hope I don't throw myself out or anybody in trying to do this. Um, I would love to do a slideshow. You, you have the pictures. Is that possible? You screen share? I am going to try. So I want to make sure I have to slide this over. And um, so I can see where we are. So and if this works, we get to see some some images of the event and a few behind the scenes. All right. I'm going to try. Here we go. Bear with us. I feel like I'm at school. Sometimes I throw <laughs> myself out at school. Kids love that when we were virtual. And then I had to hurry up and get back in so nothing was happening while I was gone. All righty. Now, Randy was trying to tell me how to make them larger. <laughs> I'm lucky we just have these here. So um, this let's go. Uh, can you go to the first one? Um, the okay. All right. Uh, if you go to the first one, they're sort of in the chronology order, I believe. Okay, so this is a shot of um, Randy, who plays Kayla's dad. Um, and, and, and I love the way this uh, Randy's character, uh, Larry, is written. So he's very pragmatic. And he says things sometimes that embarrasses um, his daughter. Aww. And he's, he, he's kind of pushing his daughter in the direction of get out there and start dating again because she was... She ha her backstory is that she was left at the altar and she's she has a trepidation about um, hesitancy to even when she feels chemistry, she has a trepidation to starting something because she has a little PTSD from something that just occurred to her a year ago where she was left at the altar. So here he is. Um, he's a really good cook uh, and he's um, he's basically meeting uh, the Kevin, Kevin's character for the first time. Okay. Um, I have a and question. I like to cook in real life. And what happened, Randy? Say that again. And I like to cook in real life, so that was fun. I was going to say, so that that was like no-brainer acting right there. But when you're making stuff like this in the kitchen and you have to nibble and taste, like after a while, does it like, do you have like, do you pretend that you're nibbling and tasting? Because I could only imagine if you had to do something over and over again, you would kind of get stuck. The biggest, the biggest trick is not to crunch like for me to have a bite of a carrot or something, I can't do that in the middle of Kayla's line. Oh, oh, that would be true. So that's where all the trickiness comes. It's, uh, yeah. but sometimes you're allowed to do that and it's fine. But uh, with this kind of production, you really try to be very careful about certain sound so you don't overlap dialogue too much. And especially extra uh, extraneous sounds from the outside, we try to very, Minimize those, a chair pulling on the floor, anything like that. We have to be very careful. That's, a, um, that, that's something I wouldn't even know to think about. That's really cool. I'm sorry, Marita. What did you want to add? Uh, we have a lot of pictures to get through. So it, the next one is just me, just real quickly. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what the street looked like. Um, the two houses that were the uh, Kayla's house and the other house were side by side. So that's the purple house that was. Um, um, Catherine, what's your character's name? My Kevin, Mandy, Catherine? Kevin's oh, Kevin. eating. That's not that purple Barrett. house. Catherine Barrett. house. Um, and then just go to the next one. And this is the living room of the um, Catherine's uh, place, and you can kind of see um, some of the artwork that um, that um, set that came up with. Um, That's cool. You added that all in. Cute. Yeah. And then just go to the next one and the next one after that's the same location so oh, this is her, her, her andy warhol ish um apartment and um Marina, i have this uh, I gotta say, so cute Catherine got to take that andy warhol thing home you still have that right well i've been tell after greg to send it to me and i gotta get on him again because i think he forgot about me but i haven't forgot because i want that oh I, I thought you took it when we wrapped no Oh, well, okay. No, because well, they needed to take the or something. Yeah. And then we can go to the next I one. Mike. 
or my yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, that was a that was a beautiful and fun, and a, a very funny scene. It's kind of where the women come together trying to make a detente. Um, mm. They're really at odds and they're competitors, and we have this funny scene in the beginning. But um, this is where they come together. Uh, we can go to the next. Um, and this is her, uh, this is, I'm playing this as it's the same house, but I, I'm actually I reconfigured it. Um, and Randy's cooking up a storm here. Randy, um, look at that spread. My I goodness, know. Randy. <laughs> See, it looks like a Hallmark card, doesn't it? Yes. Um, and so this is where, uh, they're coming together for a little bit of, uh, family time together, but that's, um, the beautiful backyard that we made for, um, Kayla's character's house. I can keep going. And we weren't allowed to eat any of it. It made me crazy. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. This is more more of the barbecue. The watermelon is it real? I mean, that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I I don't I don't remember the rule about not. Maybe somebody told you that as a joke. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just because they wanted me to shut up and cook. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Let's go. Um. I'm sorry. If you want me to go back, I'll go whatever. No, no, way no. no. Okay. We can go through these pretty quickly. A lot of them are kind of redundant. So that's just to show you how we um, set up like a dolly track. Um, and now this is where Amanda's character comes and makes um, makes a uh, makes a proposal to Kayla's character. Uh, and and the guy in the center is uh, the actor's name is Ish Morris. It's his birthday today, so he had plans. That's why he's not joining us. But Ish is Ish is somebody I've worked with on at least three movies, yeah. and he is the partner to uh, Kayla in this movie. And uh, so uh, oh, one of my favorite <laughs> because um, because I love this screen grab because. Uh, Amanda is saying like really outlandish things to her and she's also <laughs> acting, you know, I, I, I gave her the direction to, to like come up and really inspect her and look her up and down and make her feel uncomfortable, invade her space. And oh, you uh, look that was such a fun little bit to film because you were just like, get as close as you can to her. And I'm just watching this like beautiful, <laughs> tall princess come towards me. That was so fun. And I, I said, take your time, look her up and down. And like, so like they were practically touching noses. And I'm like, that's what like, you know, be, be really and an privileged and entitled. And your, your dad taught you how to be a shark, you know? Uh, this so. was literally like my first day on set too. So it was very like right off the bat, like get in her face. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, but you did it, Amanda, you did it. <laughs> All right, here we go. There you are again. Oh, the yeah, other side. Catwalk. So much sass. Um, I, I can give you. I can give you a little bit behind the scenes on this moment. I feel so sorry for Amanda, but she came to set and she'd probably been in hair and makeup for two hours, and she was very curled and coiffed. And God bless him, my my hair and makeup guy got mixed signals, and I'm like, no, her character has straight blonde hair. And, and 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 I was really kind of modeling her after Paris Hilton, and he just did her in locks. And I said, we can do that for the wedding. And I had to send her back to makeup and hair and get that whole thing blown out. It was, I don't know how you put up with me, Amanda. <laughs> Honestly, he, it, you know, it was he did a great job. He did it so quickly, yeah. Sam. So, um, yeah, it was so, no problem. That face is really for you, Marita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going. Oh, that's um, there's this um, beautiful scene where um, she, she had a couple of scenes back to back. And then she has this contemplative moment where um, it's almost like her spirit creature who, who's a butterfly comes down and like has a moment with her. And um, so it's the same place that we had the barbecue. It's just that she's trying to make a decision, you know, um, whether to, to keep on track with this guy. And she's like starting to fall for him. And, it, it, you know, we can't forget that the, the movie at its core has all this sort of mythology um, and, and magical relations with butterflies. So that actually is part of the story. And um we, we had a lot of real butterflies, but anytime you have a close-up of a butterfly landing next to Kayla, that's a that's a 3D creation. That yeah. I, I spent more time in post-production on this movie than any other. Um, oh, we can just keep going, but um, yeah. I thought that was a that was a beautiful moment. Um, and this is the van, and then that's Kayla's house. And if you can see, the house to the left is is um, side by side, but we had to frame them out. But it was 
a beautiful little town called Almont, uh, which is west of Ottawa. We have these beautiful. And that's that's the butterfly up. mobile. That's the butterfly mobile. Yep. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting all fun things. Oh, look at this. That's Took a over. view of the two houses. So it would be the two ladies' houses. So that made it really easy for us because everything was filmed sequentially. Um, at these beautiful houses in this beautiful town of Almont, where the people were so nice to us. I used a lot of the people that lived on this street as background players, in fact. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. We just I would just literally go knocking on doors and say, hey, do you have any kids? Um, would they like to come out and be in the scene? And um, we totally did that. And we gave them popsicles. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> nice. Sometimes it was hot. Sometimes it was cold. But on, on a hot day, they had popsicles. Yep. All right. Oh. Um, night, night shooting, so it can be cold at night. Mm. And and also rain. Oh, you got quite a bit of that. We saw that. Yeah. All right. And and um, so this is uh, downtown Almont. We have like, a nice scene That's there, with the two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, when they go flower shopping together to discuss things for her wedding. That's your Amanda. Yeah. Very, yeah. Oh, do you want me to go back? She's very diva ish. Yes. <laughs> Did you want me to go back or you're good? No, no. no. Okay. Um, and th this was another rainy day uh, that was kind of cold. And I felt sorry for Kevin oh. and for Kayla. And they, they just created this very beautiful scene where they, the, the, there's this bonding scene and they're by like a little creek and an old mill. A lot of very special locations and beauty in this movie. Is this when you're falling in love? You're having your little, like, you know, you look across from each other. We're going to see these beautiful little moments. <laughs> Maybe. You got to tune in. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. What is that? That's the old mill where they're they're going yeah. to have their little picnic. The James, James Naismith mill, I believe. The guy that created basketball. Wasn't it something to do with his family? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is this is another park, but uh, we did film um, at the Naismith farm that when we did the kids, um, the kids party. Uh, right. But that that's where uh, Alyssa goes scampering and uh, that's a different place. But yeah, the guy that invented basketball came from Almont, the city of Almont. Hmm. That's nearby. A lot of this was near Almont. The um, scenery is gorgeous. Yes, yeah. you can see I'm wearing a coat and we're we're kind of cold because it was rainy. I, I don't know how they did their, their scene. Like this oh. is one of this is um this is one I of the that parties butterfly. that um that Alyssa is working with her little butterfly cape. The colors like are electric. Did you have to do something or is that like the way it really was? Because no, it's the way it was. Oh, and because of even more so. these pictures don't even do it justice. It's beautiful. This is one of those um, <laughs> scamper moments. <laughs> She's being like, like yeah. Alyssa was so good at. Isn't she cute? Yeah. She's <laughs> wrangling the <laughs> Here, You could scamper like nobody's business. Uh, this is the Naismith farm. And uh, we filmed um, the, ki the kids' classroom scene there. Mm -hmm. And she was knocking on the door of a farmer there. And there was another scene. There were like three scenes there that day. It used to be a peach farm. Yeah, that's that's that farm. And uh, Kayla's character is conducting a class that's um, teaching the kids. Yeah, that's that's the Naismith farm. And that's where the kids go hunting for the larvae. So we had this beautiful field. And I heard like you had butterflies. Oh, well, not butterflies. You had the caterpillars everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, that, that Naismith farm, the, the kids were finding, we didn't even have to have them provided by props. The kids were, were finding, I yeah. had like a hundred butterfly larvae that were just all over the weeds and all over the plants. And, and um, this is um, this is Kevin's character's home. So oh. in, in yeah. the storyline, he comes from an affluent family and he kind of rejects his father's way of business and he's striking out on his own. But I thought it was important to show that he had, you know, money as a foundation. And this is the location where the butterfly off takes place. So it's like two houses side by side where Kayla's character is running a party and she's being outdone um, by by Catherine's character right next door. Oh boy. That's a little kid's birthday this party. Is this is the location that had 
cat butterflies. There are cat everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. The trees. Water fell down my dress. Oh, yeah. They would hang. Oh, they would hang from the trees. Yeah. yeah. It was meant to be. All right. And what do we have here? Oh, that's the dress. <laughs> I love oh. that. This is the dress that introduces her character. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Cool. Uh oh. That's the, that's the um um that's me location scouting going. I want this 18th hole for where Amanda has her fit. And this is like the point of view that Kayla has when she first uh meets uh Amanda. And these are the girls, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. I shared that. I think I shared that this morning. Look at those girls. Look at their outfits. So they're, much fun. they're gorgeous oh, no. in the golf cart and amanda you had fun driving that cart didn't you yeah i almost drove it off the i don't know if i was going to pass, so i can't remember but i was having a hard time um driving it but yeah that was super fun we had to shoot that a couple times i was like going off the path she was like a road warrior there you are <laughs> cool uh oh, what's happening here? <laughs> well, this is um, this is Kayla in her uh, her laboratory, which is adjacent to her butterfly habitat. That is something that she owns, and uh, she and basically the story plot is that she enlists the help of Kevin and Alyssa to uh, to help her um, expand her habitat. So that's something that he volunteers to do and gives them some activities to sustain their developing relationship. Cool. It looked, it reminded me, I was going to say, it looked like, um, you know, uh, a house, a hot house kind of thing. But is, is this, what is this actually? Uh, our, our producer, um, Andrew Erin, uh, the local producer of Fireside Pictures, he owns this farm and oh. um, he took us out. We were location scouting and I wasn't, I, I mean, I had been all over Ottawa looking at hot houses and things and nothing was conducive to us controlling it <clears throat> plus they were socked in by busy streets this was out in the middle of farm country and we basically took this hot house and i walked in there and it was like 100 degrees and i was like we have to mm -hmm. open up these panels on the side for ventilation or we'll never be able to film in here and we did do that and we created screens but it was still extremely hot to film in there but we knew that with the light and airy space we could control real butterflies. So we basically built it. So what, what this character has wow. is this laboratory and this hot house. And it, it basically, you see what wow. you get. That's what it actually was. We built it. And we, we put the, we put the stones in, we put the pathways and the plants. And here is Kayla dealing with some actual real monarch butterflies. Um, so I actually ordered the, um, the larvae um, not the larvae. I ordered the butterflies. Butterflies are shipped for events, right? And and they mostly come in the mail and they, they come in singular envelopes and we had to open them up and keep them in containers. So I became sort of a butterfly expert on how to keep them alive. Um, they had to have a certain temperature control. They really like to drink Gatorade. Uh, they like uh, roses and, and, and uh, apples. So we, we had to place like honeysuckle juices in in fountains all through this habitat so that we could attract the butterflies and um kayla and Alyssa really became quite proficient at wrangling and controlling these butterflies um you remember that Alyssa? you were constantly like catching them and yeah. you were, it was great yes. get them on her finger she, and hold them up and i it would be like great 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 in the camera at her that's yeah, they love you Alyssa. Aww. yeah i love you all right, we got this more of the farm. This is the backyard. Um, so um, when when they have this like beautiful scene together, that's the location for that. And then it became the place for the mud. Oh goodness! <laughs> yeah, there they are. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that. there's a there's a lot of great photography in this movie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Who's that handsome man? man? Who is that? <laughs> Garrett. Oh. Garrett. You look good in blue. It brings out your eyes. That's a good color. Oh. No, it does. You look good in it. 
Oh, look okay, at look that. Best Buy yeah, it's, oh. it's one of my, it's a really great scene. <laughs> I'm overlooking the Best Buy. You look good. <laughs> this is not even. Don't like even yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's that's a real one, right? That's not, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, um, that's a painted lady. So that we had we had a few monarchs, but mostly uh, painted ladies were available. Monarchs didn't really make it um, to Ottawa this that year that we filmed because there was a. Uh, a snowstorm in Texas, so a lot of them didn't make it past Texas. Mm. <clears throat> this um, is more of inside the her her laboratory. Yeah, this is her right? habitat. And um, basically, what would happen when we release two hundred butterflies? They would immediately go to the side and the corners and whatever. So, I I, I created some effect of color by um, artificial butterflies that were made of feathers were stuck to a lot of plants. And mm -hmm. then there's a tremendous amount of CGI enhancement. So that's what I spent like two months doing after the movie ended was um, working within the budget of what we uh, had agreed upon to add, you know, various colors and things. I was trying to be authentic in terms of like the kinds of butterflies that truly existed. And, you know, her character and Catherine's character spend um, a good part of the movie trying to fulfill the order it comes from this outlandishly rich person who says, I want 5,000 butterflies to be released. Um, oh I want to outdo, I want to be like, you know, yeah. the hill on the butterfly release at my wedding. So that's what they kind of rally to, to like break all records in terms of butterfly release at a wedding. There's, you I'm pretty sure attention. that that's actually a real butterfly on my shirt. If I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that is too. Yeah. There um, a lot of attention, paying attention to detail. I love Ish, even Ish. I mean, he has a couple different shirts um, that have butterflies on them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sarah okay. found that for him as well. She did a great job. This is more of just the same. And um, that's her lab, which this, this to me, it's one of my favorite pictures. It kind of looks like a 1950s uh, life magazine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the scientist. Mid-century, so, She's beautiful, sweet, and smart. What a combination. Garrett did not have a chance. There was no oh. way he was Oh, that's a cute photo. Oh, yeah. it's like yeah. the family. I love oh, that. I love it. I love it. You know what, Alyssa? I think it's early on when we see the prom uh, promos. So the daughter falls in love with you first, which is always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I brought that um, catcher. Uh, I actually the brought catcher? it home. Yeah, like that catcher for the butterflies. I actually brought it home, and I'm planning to use it if I go to catch frogs or butterflies or something one day. Okay. <laughs> okay and I that was a question I had. Anybody take a prop? There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's just more of. Now, Marie, you have all these pictures because, I mean, even beforehand, you're scouting out the area besides taking, you know, while this is happening, or is this what you normally do? Um, yeah, I'm, I, I take a lot of pictures. Anybody who knows me knows I take a lot of pictures. Okay. Um, and um, I think, I think I, I would like to kind of get in touch with Hallmark and make sure that they have some of my pictures. Um, you, you might have a still photographer that comes to the set and he's, he's never going to catch those moments that, that no disrespect, but um, I'm there 24 seven. So, right. Oh, there here's are. that moment where they're kind of um, at the end of the mud scene and then they go frolicking and they end up having a conversation while they're um, talking about the clouds in the sky above them. So that's kind of what it looks like. That's what they have to deal with is sharp grass and people poking cameras two inches from their noses. <laughs> and be yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then there there are our guy, um, our DP Jonathan is um on a ladder so he can shoot their close up uh from above. The mud scene is just like gonna go down in history. It's like people are gonna talk shot. we're mud cleaning scene. ourselves in that <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I think I see a red mark right there on your arm and maybe on your leg, no. <laughs> your back. The, the pain you do for the movies, it's all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. And I can say as as far as the actors go, we appreciate it, Marita, that uh, you send us these little gifts every once in a while, like when we're on <gasps> set. 
because we can't get a chance to do that for ourselves as actors to see what sure been going on because we, we we can use our cameras sometimes but again you send us a lot of you're very considerate that way you send a lot of moments to us that we would not have oh otherwise. yeah and this um, is a beautiful picture wow I, I and and you know what um the uh, really? I hate that this sounds like an ad for apple but um the iphone uh you know 11 12 mm -hmm. has changed my life um i i like to take a little video sometimes and share it with the actors about like I find it inspirational. It, it, it jazzes me up. And I, sometimes I'll, I'll show them, hey, look how great this is or look what you're doing and look how beautiful this is. Um, so I, I, I do share that. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great archive to have. Oh, I wanted to oh, show there's you. a real butterfly. Um, <laughs> we, uh, sometimes when we wanted to give somebody an eye line, we would uh -huh. do this little. That's a stand in. That's a stand in butterfly right there. <laughs> And, and sometimes you can't fit an actor very, very close to whatever, or, or you know, um, Kayla had to, you know, um, sometimes do an eye line to, to what you're, to what's not there, right? Because we haven't created it yet. It's going to happen in post-production, computer generated. So I, I, I got this little wand um, that had a butterfly on it. And sometimes I would say, well, this is where the butterfly goes. I would have this stick with a, with a metal butterfly on it. <laughs> and so we, we had a lot of, it's part of our shenanigans. All right. Is, is that it? Am I at the end? I, you might be. I think I am. Okay. I'm going to hit stop sharing. Good slideshow. Yeah. Yes. Marita. Very nice, Marita. Oh, it's a, it's a, I, I, I didn't throw myself out. I think I, I did a good job. My students would be proud of that and didn't throw myself out. So I don't really think you suffered for your art. I don't see like a lot of questions because you were so thorough, but they are showing you all kinds of really cool love. But Julie has some funny thing here. What's, what's Julie saying? She's saying the baby wipes. What's that? Tell me what that is. Any, any times about, she was referring to the mud picture. Um, so any time an actor, uh, baby wipes are in the, are in the kit of a, of a wardrobe person. So it's, they wear them on their waistband. Anytime somebody gets muddy or dirty or, or something drops on their clothing, they come up and it's baby wipes. That's a, a standard industry tool for, for cleanup, quick cleanup. Oh. All right. Look at that. And, and, and I, think we, I, I think we should mention too, that, uh, when they, we, you talk about the weather, Marita, that it's not so hard for the guys because our hair is usually short. But a mm -hmm. lot of these girls and young ladies who have such beautiful, long, curled, yeah, yeah, body, yeah. full-bodied hair yeah. is that when the makeup and hair people wake up in the morning and they see rain or they see extreme heat, they know they're in for a long day because yeah, ladies know what the weather does to your hair. So... Not only that, but it, it, as cameras rolling, um, you know, I'm constantly telling like Amanda or Kayla or Alyssa, pull your hair on the right hand side because, you know, the wind will do something like this or one strand will go in front of their hair or, or even, honestly, even Kevin has this problem sometime, you know, how many times have I had to stop the camera? or interrupt the yeah. scene? Kevin, just just pull your hair back or whatever, uh, you know, because it's it's. The wig. You know, it's it's hallmark, and and you you want everything to look good. Everything should be like a hallmark moment. And uh, yeah, what are the sweat dabbers called? The sweat dabbers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like that. it's constant. Even when cameras rolling, you have to stop and make adjustments. It's I don't know how actors do it really. I, you, they and then they st still have to stay in their zone or pick up the line where they were, and it's it's why they're professionals. They, they do it. They do it. That's what they, they're they hired to do. Um, yeah, that's a great Steph day. Stephanie had, um, she says, yes, share these with Hallmark. These are great, Marita. And um, no, no disrespect to Hallmark, but you are correct. Sometimes I'm like, that's the picture. That's the one you're sharing with us. Isn't there something better? So... <laughs> Um, well, it's no, it's no one's fault. It's just like yeah. the film photographer is hired for, you know, Thursday at five o'clock and whatever's happening is happening. And sometimes I'll be in pre-production. I'll say, Hey, the wedding is a good day to be there, or this is the moment, or I'll go up to them and I go, <clears throat> that's the moment. Um, <laughs> I'm standing there all the time with my, my, my cell phone with its high definition. And so I have a lot of pictures so, that are great. All right. So this is the one last thing I wanted to share. And then I wanted to ask you like a little like questions and uh, you answer and also anybody out there you can answer in the chat because I will look at the timestamp and I have things to give away for you. So if you get the questions right, it's a little test. 
<laughs> um, it says, great movie. So this is Mary. She's in France. I saw it in France and the scenery is gorgeous and all the cast um, were, did a great job. So thank you, Mary. It's already been out in France. Yes. We about, Gee, I should have gone to France. Yeah. How about yeah. that? That's cool. You don't have time for that, right. <laughs> Okay. So before we say our goodbyes, I'm going to just ask you for fun. Anybody can answer. You can all jump in because I think you, you all have some knowledge that you've gained with this movie. So the first one, and this is for everyone that's out there with us. You can answer in the, uh, um, in the comments too. So the first question is, which is not a name of a butterfly? So we have three. And which one is not? We have Monarch, Painted Lad, and Green Hair Streak. Which one is not? Which one do you think is not a name? Green Mono hair streak? Green hair streak or Paint purple lad? Wait, was it painted I'm lad sorry. or painted lady? painted lady? Paint no, no, no. It, I, I said it wrong. It's purple lad. Monarch, oh, purple, purple lad, lad, or green hair streak. What do you say? Ooh. Green hair streak. I'm going to guess purple lad. I'm going to go with whoever says it the, the most. So what do we got? What else? We got... Here's it street. is okay. So everyone is saying the same, like saying the two that you are, and believe it or not, it's the purple lad. Green hair streak really is one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. So it looks like maybe <laughs> nine, nine has it. I'll look. I'll look in the timestamp and I'll get in touch with you. I have my ways. I will do it. And then um, we know that um, the larva they like milkweed. But what about the adults? What is it that the adult butterflies eat? I think we know this. I think we saw this somewhere. In the trailer. Red Gatorade is what I was trying to. Oh. <laughs> what up? Gatorade. I thought it was orange. It was it's, orange. It's sugar-free red Gatorade. They like the aspartame. Was it the orange or the red Gatorade, Marita? Um, both. Um, they go by the, the color. So anything that was like purple or red seems to attract right. them. Red wine. They don't like the lime. <laughs> no, that would be me. Okay, yeah, and <laughs> well, Aunt, who was it? Somebody was saying, I think it's the Suspenders on Button podcast. They were first, and they said sugar water and fruit slices. Wasn't that a line that Garrett had? It's right in the trailer. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, he, he like interrupts a children's party to be like, I know the answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to score points with the beautiful lady that was there. All right. I have a definition for you, and I want to see if you can figure out what I'm defining. It's soft, sticky matter resulting from the mixing of soil and water. <laughs> what is it? Soft, sticky matter? Yes, that what is the- What podcast is this? No, no. <laughs> no, come on. Mine. It's Mine. resulting from the Mine. mixing of soil and water. You said it. What was it, Randy? Oh, mud. It's mud. Mud, 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 mud. Oh, I and I. Did anybody say it? I don't know if anyone said it. And, oh, they did. Here we go. It looks that because there's a little delay. And then um, I'm going to, if you, can you click the private chat or no? Can anybody click that? And if you click it off to the side, I was going to put something in there for you. Just so. Uh, no. no one else. Here we go. I don't want any of you to reveal it so you can see it. And then I want you to act it out. Well, now you tell me there's a private chat. Yes, there's a private chat. <laughs> and I, I type something in there. And oh, then, yeah. and use your acting skills. Come on, you're all actors here, except well, Marita, you you qualify too, and um, act it out, and let's see if they can guess what you're acting out. <laughs> um, all right, it is oh. a mud fight. <laughs> they oh, got it. So they got true. it. Good job. <laughs> All right. This was fun. Thank you for doing this and taking your time out in the middle of your day. It's going to be exciting tonight. It's yeah, great. What time does it air? What time, what time does it air for everybody to know? 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern is different, yeah. Yes. Does, does, anybody, does, anybody, know? does anybody want to say what, what they're working on right now? If they uh, can. So, sometimes that's a secret. <laughs> no. Um, on, you know, what, did you say? what did Kevin say? A what? A con what did you say? A I said, I said my tan. He said he's working on it. Oh, tan. that's okay. That's a good thing to work jealous, on. I'm jealous of the tan. Uh, yeah. My, yeah. my, my boyfriend from Ottawa is here working on his tan while I'm, I'm like going to Fox studio every day. So, oh man, <laughs> I, I can, I can relate. 
Kat, you just finished filming, didn't you? Me? No, Kat. Yes. Catherine. Oh. And she yes, told us I did. Are you it, happy yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I just got, I think there's a big delay on my, I think my internet is really, my connection's really bad, so I won't talk too much, but uh, yeah, I just got back today from, from finishing it. It was really, really fun. And I'm actually, I get to, I'm going to Paris tomorrow. I'm for the first time. I'm so excited. What? So oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, so for, I, for I'm for like, filming? for filming? No, not for, for filming. Um, yeah, I'm just taking myself there. And then I'm going to take the train to London because I, I found out I got my UK visa. So oh, I'm really excited. I'm really Good pumped thing. about it. And I want to go and uh, you know, meet some people and see what happens. And I've never been to Europe, so I'm just like so psyched. And this project that I just finished is really, really a lot of fun and a lot of work. And so I'm even though it's a really tight turnaround, I think it's it's be a really nice time to I'm gonna just walk around Paris and buy a baguette and <laughs> just do all that, uh, eat a lot of cheese yeah. and wine. <laughs> um yeah. Catherine and I right after feeling butterflies, Catherine and I went to Vancouver and did this uh western called uh, Love and Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. So I I hope Hallmark snaps that up. Catherine, so, yeah, I'm sure Catherine, they will. Is that the one with the horses and your love for horses? Remember we talked about it. it is. So she's more, more than a love yeah. for horses, she's an equestrian. So yeah. So I was thinking that um, Catherine should come and be a guest maybe on When Calls the Heart. And she could, you know, come in and kind of be give a horse piece of hand, you know? <laughs> I would love to talk to next. I mean, let's go. I mean, that was so much fun. <laughs> well, if, if, if we get a season, we're if we if season ten happens, we'll. You are. We'll are you? Are, are you? Oh, yeah, no. filming? Are you? Are, are you filming that show right now? Like, where? Where? Where's the season at? No, we're not. We're not filming that show right now. That show's airing right now. I think it, it first it premiered mm -hmm. last week. I mean, it, yeah. did, it did all right, though. Yeah, it's, it's great. And uh, we go um, second episodes right after this movie yeah, on, on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday night. Oh. It's a big deal. It's a big deal for both Kayla and Kevin because they have big things happening, especially in this next scene. So we're excited. Amanda has her 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 song out, right? Amanda, your newest song. It's um, doing yeah. The song that I performed on The Bachelor I think two months ago um, is available on all streaming platforms. If you want to check it out. Um, I'm planning for another release in hopefully end of April, and I just booked nice. another principal Christmas movie, so I'm headed back to Toronto. Congratulations! Yeah. Nice. Congratulations! I remember you telling me about uh, about your music, and um, we'll have to get you in a musical. Yes, and, oh. and all I mean, Kevin and uh, Kayla, like we're all um, yes. you know musical, so. Um, yeah, we could totally do something together, maybe. Butterflies too, the musical. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you, Alyssa? How are you doing with your cartoon? Me? Alyssa? Yes, Alyssa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I finished filming it. I don't know when it's coming out, but <laughs> I do know that I am very excited for it. Yeah. So she had this. She did her her crazy little voice for my students. They what in our interview, they loved it, and so they had it like on repeat. Like they almost made their own little gif. Is that what you call them? Like over and over again. So they're excited. They'll be on the lookout for it. Randy, what's happening in your life before we say goodbye? Uh, I just had a little role in Moonfall that came out with uh, Halle Berry and. Uh, oh, Patrick, if she's I'm drawing a blank on names, and uh, and I have a pilot I'm shooting at the end of the month for a, a comedic series. So, uh, Ooh, congratulations, I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you. It's uh, you know, as you know, pilots are pilots are, are ideas put to film, and whether they get picked up or not, it's another story. But uh, I'm so excited to do that and looking forward to uh, getting back to Ottawa. I haven't been in Ottawa in a while to work with the fireside crew in a while, and uh. So looking forward to getting back there hopefully soon. 
And I want to, and I, I would like to thank Ron Leach, the casting director, for most of these movies that, that are out of Ottawa, like from with Fireside, because mm -hmm. he's was gracious enough to introduce me to Marita, and so it's just been a wonderful That's relationship great. all the way around. And I think Alyssa, you probably met Ron Leach as well. You, you're uh, Alyssa. Do you know Ron, Ron Leach? Do you remember you, 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 when you did your audition? That was through Ron Leach casting. Do you remember? Oh. And Catherine knows Catherine Ron and oh, uh, again, Ron, it, is, uh, Ron is a fantastic human being, and I, I guess I've been yes. working with him ever since I I hit Ottawa in 2018. He's introduced me to some really great people. He's a great. He's just a great person. He's got a lot of varied interests and. Um, he's, he's got, uh, the same kind of car I had when I first started with a car when I was 21. He's, he drives this antique, uh, Triumph. Spectacular. MG. Really cool guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're all busy, busy. Nice. Yeah. All right. So everyone will be, we'll be live tweeting. We promise. And, um, if you, whoever's out there listening, I'm sure you know about it. If you pop on to suspenders on button podcast on Instagram. They have um, fun things that they're doing in between. Um, you can live tweet with them and they always come up with something cool. They have really good ideas. They are very much so, um, in support of the uh, movie. And I think I think it was because of them that Hallmark's like, oh, I think we're going to have to step it up too. I think they saw they were being outshined. <laughs> <All right. laughs> All right, let's say bye. Bye to everyone. And then bye I will see you. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Yeah, so nice to see everybody. Bye. bye. See you guys.